Meanwhile, at Hootsuite Labs. This Hootsuite Labs, okay. Where we teach you, oh. Are you looking for ways to save time posting to social media so you can spend more time not posting to social media? I sure was. It's a big day for me. And that's why I found myself posting to all my social media accounts at once. I'm sure you've thought of doing this too, but should you? I'm going to tell you why it's a bad idea to post to all your social media platforms at once, but then I'm also going to tell you how to do it and how to do it right so that you can save time and get results. <laughs> Hey, I'm Marissa from Hootsuite Social Media Team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. Let's go over the top five reasons we are not supposed to post on multiple social media accounts at once, even though I'm gonna show you how to do it. Reason number one is a big one. You won't generate the engagement or reach that you want. Your audience is different on every platform and active at different times. You'll want to stagger your posts and messages throughout the day so that you can get the best visibility and engagement from your followers. Reason number two, every channel has a unique set of posting specifications. Instagram likes vertical video, whereas YouTube is horizontal. Character counts are different on every platform, image sizes are different, and most of the time creating content for each social network is more about repurposing than reposting. Number three, beyond asset specs, the way you write and speak should be slightly different on each channel. And not just because your audience on TikTok is looking for entertainment, whereas your audience on LinkedIn is looking for educational content. You don't want to talk about retweets on Pinterest or use hashtag InstaLove on LinkedIn. I mean, you probably wouldn't want to use hashtag InstaLove anyway. You should watch my colleague Dimitri's video on Instagram hashtags if you want to learn more. Reason number four, you don't want to be the spam bam thank you ma'am account. If you're going to use the same piece of content to post to multiple social media accounts at the same time, anyone who follows you on more than one platform is going to notice and mentally file you away as kind of spammy. Slap that like button if you too hate spam posting. <laughs> okay, so posting the same content to all of your social media channels at once is not the right move. But there's a way you can make this type of posting schedule professional, polished, and spam-free. To do this, y'all need Hootsuite. Hootsuite! Step one, you'll have to connect your social channels to Hootsuite. Sign up or log in and head to your dashboard. If you don't have Hootsuite, don't worry. You can grab your 60-day free Hootsuite trial right here. Now click Add Social Account. Then click the drop-down menu that says Select Destination. Choose the account you want to add profiles to, and then click the social media account that you want to add. Lastly, choose the profile you want to add and follow the prompts on screen to connect your network to Hootsuite. You may need to authorize your account. Once all of your profiles are added, you can create your post. Step one, click on the composer icon in the top left corner of your Hootsuite dashboard and then click post. Step two, click publish to. Select the drop-down menu and then choose each of the channel that you want your post to appear on. Step three is to add your social post copy in the new post planner under initial content. Then add your images underneath in the media section. Now here's where you can make sure your accounts don't turn into spam bot lookalikes. You're gonna wanna edit and optimize each of your posts for the channel that you're posting them on. To do this, click on the network's logo next to initial content and adjust your content for each platform. Edit each caption by platform. You can also add alt text for your images and hashtags. You'll also wanna make sure that your CTA is right for each platform. On Instagram, you can say, check the link in bio, but on Twitter, you can just copy and paste the link and shorten it using Outly. For YouTube, I don't know, your call to action might be subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when Hootsuite Labs next video drops or something like that. Now, if you're ready to publish immediately, click on Post Now in the bottom right corner of the screen. Alternatively, click on Schedule for Later to schedule at a date and time to post your content, and then click Schedule. Okay, so the last thing I want to leave you with is this checklist that you'll want to tick off every time you cross-post to multiple accounts. Number one, tone. Adjust your copy and captions to match the tone that succeeded for you on that platform in the past. Everyone is looking for value on social, but what kind of value depends not just on the platform, but on your specific audience on that platform. Remember that Hootsuite has Grammarly integration that will analyze your tone for you. What is that word? <laughs> infallible. Is that how you say it? Infallible. But it's not infallible. <laughs> it's not infallible, but it's got some good suggestions. 
Number two, jargon. Watch your RTs, MTs, ratios, pins, likes, follows, comments, share, subscribe, etc., etc. Number three, character count. Different channels have different maximum character limits. So while you only get 280 characters on Twitter, you'll get over 2,000 on Instagram. Fortunately, Hootsuite counts for you, right there below the text box. Number four, asset specifications. Be absolutely certain that you're posting the right image size to the right platform. You don't want to leave it up to Instagram or Facebook to resize your photos. Fortunately, Hootsuite lets you save time cropping photos by automatically applying a preset based on the social network you've selected. Number five, handles. It's not uncommon to end up with different handles on different channels. Double check to make sure you're using the right handle for the right channel when you tag a person or a brand. Number six, hashtags. Finally, make sure your hashtags are spelled correctly and that you're using the right number for the platform and that you're using the most popular and most relevant hashtags for the platform. Oh, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that Hootsuite has an AI powered hashtag generator that will come up with suggestions for you based on your content. Okay, so that's all I have for now on cross-posting to social media. If you want to learn more time-saving techniques, take a gander at my colleague Zach's Hootsuite Packs video. Coming in hot, right up here. Bye for now, friends.